Hello guys, hopefully you are okay. I'm Murat, I'm here and I'm gonna teach you how to speak in English very fluently. Uh, I think that most of the students are able to learn how to read, how to write, even as uh, they can understand the people in front of them, even sometimes native speakers. But when it comes to speaking, it's a little bit problem. And because of some reasons, of course, I'll try to teach you uh, some tips how to use your words, how to use your fluent speech when you are in front of somebody, when you want to express your ideas. Uh, for it, let's start from the very first one. Choose the topics which you like. It is a very important part, especially we don't know which topic we should choose. And so, especially if sometimes we can open our books, we read some topics that are not interesting for us, but we have also some domain, we have also some field of interest, we can use them. Uh, today's first concentration point will be about it. And uh, for example, let's say one person is interested in cars and that person can speak about cars. Uh, I think that that person should choose this topic to speak because for beginning it's very important uh, thing uh, to find real and convenient, we can say, topic for speaking. For uh, this reason, I want to recommend you choose the topic which, which you really, really like and don't choose the boring topics and don't choose the topics which you don't uh, have any information about so and the second thing i want to say it's about topic words sometimes we learn the words without any system it's very bad actually uh, i want to say that when you want to speak about one topic which i said before for example cars you have to choose the topic words about cars and if you have enough words vocabulary if you have very good vocabulary base about cars it means that the specific topic which you want to speak about it will be very good for you because in this way you will all have some ideas and also when you think about one topic all the words will come to your mind and it will be very easy and you will remember the words in a group and this group will help you to remember all the words in your mind Let's continue with the next part. Uh, of course, most of the students complain about lack of partners. Even I think they say that there is no any partner to speak. Yes, of course. And most of the people in the world, I think, you know, international language, English, and all the things can cause very big matters for people. I want to say that if there is no partner, don't worry about it. The best partner is, of course, yourself. No one can say that you cannot speak to yourself. It doesn't matter if there is mirror in front of you or not. We have to speak to ourselves. First, our first stage was what? We chose our topic, which we liked. The second, we found some vocabulary words in your language, in your own language, and you translated them in Google Translate or things like that. And you can find the translations. After finding the vocabulary words, you can speak to yourself. Don't try to look for any special partner. Of course, it is better. You had better find some person from all around the world to speak. Yeah, it's very good. Special native speakers. But actually, native speakers don't deal with this kind of things. Because they are not interested in uh, teaching their language to other people in the world. Uh, it is only wasting time for them. If you are a really interesting person, yeah, maybe you have a chance. I want to say, yeah, because uh, for some people you are speaking or your, let's say, learning process may be bothersome. And for yourself, it will not be like that because you will not avoid yourself and it will be very enjoyable and pleasure, great pleasure for you when you speak, when you feel very good improvement in your speech. Yeah, it will be very good motivation for you. And I want to say one more thing that especially it is really, really recommendable thing for me. When you speak, record your voice. Recording your voice will realize you that your speaking is getting improved. Let's continue. Limited type of speaking. Of course, we think that uh, we can speak how much we want or like that but I would like to recommend you one more method especially this method can be used by teachers when they have lessons 
uh, limited time is very important. For example, let's say today you have started to speak and you know that you have three minutes, four minutes, even five minutes. Okay, let's say it doesn't matter. It depends on yourself. You can choose one time and you have to set your time. After setting your time, of course, you will try to choose your topic. Again, the vocabulary words. And then you will speak about it during limited time. It's very important. For example, let's say for the first day you could say you could use 10 sentences during two minutes. The next day you will do the same thing again. Maybe about the same topic you will be able to tell 15 sentences or more than it. Yeah, it's really important because in this way you will be able to realize your improvement. It is very good, especially I think that after checking yourself, you will feel that, yeah, you have really good development in your speech or in your speaking part or like that. And let's continue with the next part, with the next tip, which is about conversation clubs. Even I think that in each country, you can find lots of conversation clubs to go to. For example, in our country, we can find lots of places to go and special conversation clubs are very important for the students who learn English. When you speak to yourself, there is no any partner to make a dialogue, but when you are among some people, it's very good for you. Because first, it is not only about speaking, it's not only about vocabulary base, it is just about self-confidence. When you have lots of people around you, it will be very good for you it will be very productive for you because you will not uh, get shy first of course you will get shy but after some period of time you will forget about being shy and it will be easier for you to speak and the last one it's about learning texts actually i don't support the idea of memorizing lots of information but instead of doing it i think that you can learn some texts Especially when you speak, you don't have enough ideas. Some people have trouble finding some uh, ideas when they speak. For example, let's say I want to speak about computers. It's bad sides, good sides, but there is nothing on my mind. And I cannot find any idea to express my feelings or to express my ideas. Uh, for this reason, I want to recommend you especially to find some text not so difficult text of course from simple text to difficult ones you can every day read one text and after reading them you can speak to yourself this retell this text to yourself speaking and not speaking memorizing is different thing it is not the same uh, as learning uh, sometimes when we learn something we only want to speak the text word by word and it is not productive actually for you uh, instead of doing it i would recommend you especially retell the text it means that it means that still the content of the text and retell it to yourself these are all very important things for today i want to add one more thing that if you liked our video if you want more videos like that you can subscribe my channel and you can like the video and next lesson we'll have some more videos take care goodbye